Hello everyone. A couple of days ago I heard someone use the expression to have butterflies in one's stomach, meaning to be very nervous about something. It's very often associated with falling in love. And I thought, well, why not make a video about expressions with animals in English? And at first I thought, well, will I find enough? But then when I started thinking, writing down a few expressions, uh, I'm afraid there's going to be too many. Uh, let's start off with a few that are used as adjectives. For instance, dog tired, just meaning very tired. Pig headed, meaning very stubborn. Dog eared, which is something you'd say about a book or a magazine with plenty of dog ears, meaning places where people uh, turn down a corner to find their spot. Now, of course, if a, if a book has many of those, it doesn't look nice, nice anymore. It looks a bit worn, dog-eared. Or somebody could be eagle-eyed, meaning that they are very good at spotting something, you know, that they have very good eyes. Uh, you come across so many expressions. Um, for instance, somebody says, oh, I could eat a horse, meaning that they're just very hungry, which leads me to horses. There are plenty of expressions with horses. For instance, hold your horses, meaning calm down, uh, don't run away with uh, this idea, uh, just keep calm, hold your horses. Um, I could ask someone uh, to get off their high horse, meaning to stop being angry, being annoyed, being offended, because if somebody gets on their high horse, that exactly means that they are offended, uh, that they feel as if they're better than uh, someone else. Um, if you see someone suddenly dash off, you might say, well, they went off like a bat out of hell, like a bat out of hell, very quickly, as if in a panic. Uh, you could be blind as a bat, very blind, not seeing anything. Or uh, you could feel like a fish out of water, meaning that you're uncertain, that you're not feeling comfortable, you're not feeling in your element, like a fish that is indeed out of water. We will sometimes say that someone is a sitting duck, meaning that they are an easy target, that they are vulnerable. Uh, on the other hand, something could be water off a duck's back, meaning without any impact at all, uh, very easily without any effect. Uh, you could uh, insult someone, but they just don't care. It's water off a duck's back. Strong as an ox. You may have heard that expression, very strong. Uh, there are a number of those, adjective, as, and then an animal, uh, such as sick as a dog, very sick. But you could also be sick as a pig or sick as a parrot. And those two mean that you're just very disappointed. You can say that something has gone to the dogs, meaning that it's in a very bad state, that it's evolved and uh, that really it's become bad. Now, it's gone to the dogs. Yeah. Talking about dogs, you should normally let sleeping dogs lie, meaning that you shouldn't mention awkward things that happened in the past. Just let sleeping dogs lie. And you also know that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, that it's very difficult to change people's habits. Uh, and also, literally, that if someone uh, is getting older, uh, it might be more difficult for them to learn new things. Really, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. What with all these expressions, I'm starting to feel as if I've opened a can of worms that I've caused problems by doing just 
one thing that has consequences. Yes, I've really opened the can of worms here. But I'm definitely not crying wolf. To cry wolf meaning that you claim something that's not true, that you are causing a false alarm, so that in the end nobody believes you anymore. Uh, somebody can have ants in their pants, uh, mainly meaning that they are unable to stand, uh, to stand still or sit still, that they're constantly on the move, constantly active. But that's better than being like a bull in a china shop, because that means that you're clumsy. But all of that is still better than being called a bird brain, which just means that you're a stupid person. Have you ever heard of a red herring? A red herring is something misleading, something that's drawing attention away from the main point. Uh, for instance, in detective novels, the author will always create plenty of red herrings. But we really need to talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room meaning something obvious that people are avoiding. Uh, a subject that nobody wants to address but everybody knows, knows has got to be addressed. The elephant in the room. Something or someone can be a wolf in sheep's clothing meaning not to be trusted, not what it seems as if indeed a wolf were to uh, put on sheep's clothing. Uh, and the wolf brings me back to dogs. There's still plenty of expressions with dogs that we haven't tackled yet. For instance, you can call someone top dog, meaning that they're the boss, the leader. On the other hand, you can be in the doghouse or be in the doghouse with someone, meaning that you're in trouble, that you're out of favour. And I'm starting to feel that I'm working like a dog here, what with all these expressions, that I'm working very hard. Now, I don't want you to quit cold turkey, meaning quit something immediately, completely, without any preparation, very often used with uh, drugs or with bad habits. So I don't want you to quit these expressions, cold turkey, but I feel that I've said enough. But a little bird told me, meaning somebody gave me some information, but I'm not revealing who, a little bird told me that I'm also planning to make a separate video on expressions with cats. So maybe that's something to look forward to. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.